Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in first, we're not in first Samuel. <laughs> we're in Luke chapter one, verses 13 to 17 this morning. Let's read it. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you shall call his name John and you will have joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will also go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Oh, there's so much we could talk about just in this section. Uh, but uh, this is the conversation between Zacharias and the angel, part, part one, out of part two parts. So um, it looks like John, that Zechariah has been praying for many years to have a son. And perhaps as the years went by and he aged, because they're very old at this point, perhaps he stopped praying that prayer. I don't know. But you know what? Every prayer we send, God has it on record. And now comes, maybe it's 30 years late or 40 years late uh, from a human perspective. I don't know. But here what we have is the angel comes and says, oh, hey, I've got news for you. Remember that prayer you, pray, you prayed maybe a long time ago? Well, it's going to be, it's, it's now answered. Uh, so big surprise, but God's timing is always best, isn't it? The other piece, I, uh, there's so much going on here, but um, do you notice here, this is the end of the Old Testament. We have Malachi saying he wants to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children of the fathers. Here we see that uh, this is uh, going to be a fulfillment of that. John the Baptist is kind of like an Elijah, and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, the hearts of the children to the father. He is going to turn the, the disobedient to the just. He's, he's an agent for God's kingdom. And so, and why? 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 Well, look at what it says. To make ready a people prepared for the Lord. So this is the mission of John the Baptist, and, and Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth are going to have a boy. He's going to be, his name is going to be John the Baptist. And his mission, when he gets older, He's going to be the forerunner, the, the one who comes before Jesus. He's the messenger of the Messiah that he's coming. So a wonderful, wonderful thing, a part of, part of the fulfillment of the Old Testament. The last thing there is to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. God is always looking to turn us back to the truth of his word and to turn our hearts toward Jesus to the God of heaven. So friend, may God do that for us. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, uh, it's glorious to see this is part of the Elijah message, the gospel, uh, the coming of the forerunner of Jesus. So, Lord, bless, bless us, we pray, so that we understand the work of John the Baptist, because in many ways that's going to be our work here before the second coming of Jesus. So help us, Lord, as we uh, see this, this message to turn hearts back and forth back to you. May we have our part in that message we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. May God use you and I to turn hearts toward Jesus. There is no better assignment to have. And so may he be our helper. God bless you today.